Hey guys, I'm Jacob. You're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. I want to do a really quick video talking to you about a comp that we just did. It was hosted by my friend in Scottsville, Kentucky, and I kind of helped him set it up and get the course laid out. It was a really cool course. Um, the best thing about this experience is we had probably between 15 and 20 people out here running stuff for hours. We had a lot of kids, and in fact, we had a kids specific comp, uh, which is actually where most of the prizes went to. Most of the prizes went to kids for this particular event. We had six kids competing against each other in a friendly environment. It was a ton of fun. They had a blast. Um, <clears throat> for the adults, I only I supplied one prize. Um, but to talk about crawling really quick, this has been a good outlet for me. Um, I had been doing it for uh, probably three years, um, mostly by myself up until relatively recently. But uh, I have met a few people, great people that I would have never met otherwise. I've gotten a few other people into it. And through my crawling experience, uh, if you can call it that. I've spent a lot of time hiking. I've incorporated bushcraft and a lot of heavy stone lifting. If you guys don't know me, one of my heavy hobbies is finding really heavy rocks and hoisting them. So um, it's been it's been really cool. It's not mainstream prepping, but you can go out. You can spend under well under two hundred dollars know nothing about it, go out, meet people, compete, and have fun, and get a some, some type of off-roading technical experience that requires a lot of concentration and that you will learn from. I One of the reasons I got into it, I wanted to get my kids into it, get them building RCs from kits and doing stuff like this. I think, I originally thought it would be a good way for them to learn, <clears throat> but I know for a fact that I have learned. I've only just recently gotten my first rig completely dialed. And I learned a lot to get to where I am. I've spent a lot of time outside. I'm like doing really nerdy stuff, guys. Tuning shocks and putting stuff together and building, assembling, disassembling, reassembling, reassembling, all kinds of crap. And, uh,. A lot, there's a lot of worse ways to learn. People take prepping a little bit too seriously. No question about it. Um, the people who act like they take prepping the most seriously, <laughs> excuse me, work a day job, go home, and get on the internet and talk about how tough they are. They don't get any training. They don't actually get out and do any adventures. They don't do anything. They just like talking about prepping. And I want to encourage people in 2023. <coughs> <coughs> I think I got a bug yesterday. I've been having a hard day today, especially with all the farm work I've had to do today. <coughs> <coughs> 2023 goal. It's not going to be rewilding like most people think of it. It's going to be rechilding. When we're kids, <coughs> we run every day. We're constantly competing. Most kids, I did. Constantly running, constantly competing, constantly climbing, constantly learning, constantly um, driven and motivated to learn and be creative. And people always say they got older and they got fat and they lost their mobility and they can't do the things that they used to do. <coughs> well, of course you can't do the things you used to do. You used to run every day. Now you sit at a desk all day for decades. So this, uh, this isn't aimed at anybody in particular. It's just a general thing that I see in our society. People stop having fun. And they have to look at themselves too seriously. 
they can't, you know, they can't laugh at themselves. 2023, I've got some physical goals. I'll do a video about it. But rechilding. Learn every day. Be curious. Be creative. And it's been interesting how I've learned through these RCs. Um, much like in my exercises, meeting new and different communities, I really like the strongman guys. Coolest guys ever. Strongmen do a lot more cardio than you would give them credit for. They're a lot in a lot better shape, and a lot of them are a lot healthier than you'd give them credit for. And that's been great. Uh, anything that you can do that gets you outside, gets you thinking, gets you competing, gets you meeting new people and learning new things. <coughs> that's going to be the goal for 2023. Huge shout out to Projects by Night for hosting this event. It was a kind of a quick event, kind of rushed. We're going to do, hopefully, some much, much larger stuff in 2023. From here on out, guys, I've got a few different videos for you before Christmas. I've got a few different videos for you before the New Year's. After I beat this bug, we're going to jump headfirst back into bushcraft. I actually have some bushcraft videos that I already they're already filmed, need to be edited and go up. I need to finish some stuff, finish some intros. <coughs> but I wanted to... Sorry. Share this video with you. Also, <coughs> there are people that make this hobby really amazing when it comes to hobbyists and makers. Shaka Hobbies donated some prizes that they made for this event. And you saw a lot of MoFo RC... Hard Park RC, um, uh, Flub RC, um, you know, people who are taking their passion and making things with it, and they're trying to sell something, um, but they're not getting rich. They're they're selling their passion. These guys really make the sport something different. I'm gonna list them in the description box below. If you're just getting into this. Um, Check them out. Follow them. Look at what they got. If you would uh, like advice on how to get into this, let me know in the comment section below. And I will have, and all of you guys are going to like this, but uh, don't worry, I won't clickbait you into watching it. I will have more videos about what you might want to get or avoid in the future. I'll do a video. I've just basically got my first rig dialed to basically legendary performance as I see it. Um, a truly new realm of performance from what I've seen in the past. I'll probably do a video showing you guys exactly how I did it and what's important and the cheapest way to achieve it. You know, I'm not a man of secrets. Um, but I'm going to wrap this up again in the description box below. Um, I'm not going to put any links to me and my channel because this isn't really a, the kind of channel where, I don't know, maybe I will, whatever. But <laughs> One thing I want to mention is I'm not affiliated with any RC brands at all. I'll probably never make money off of this type of YouTube video. I'm going to do it anyways uh, because this channel is about sharing uh, my passions. And because of that, I have met amazing, like-minded, and passionate people. So <clears throat> no matter how many subscribers I do or don't get, no matter how much money I do or don't make, the channel has been very beneficial for me, even when it just comes uh, to networking and making a dis difference and, and telling the doggone truth in a world of lies. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I hope you have a blessed.